I do apologize for not making a video of my thoughts coming into this game. I've been busy with real life stuff, work, making that money, trying to get my own place again. So yeah, that takes priority. And my thoughts weren't really that much different from everybody else's. And to be completely honest with you, to tell you the truth, I didn't even want to think about this team all week until game day. I, I put the team completely out of mind until it was time to put the jacket on, tune in, and represent. I mean, as we all know, drama has been unfolding worse now than ever these past few weeks. The organization's burning to the ground and the inmates are running the asylum. And to make it even worse, we were a couple of games behind in the division. And to top it all off, we go into this game against an old foe in New Orleans who is trying to maintain the number one seed and they had the number one defense in the league. But I'm sure the salt from the last time we faced them still lingers in the mouth of the players that were on that roster that are still here. I mean, with the Alshon Jeffrey bobble causing him to intercept the ball, and then after the game, they were dancing in the locker room to dreams and nightmares with a ski mask on their head. That had to have struck a nerve of every player on that team that is on this team from that year that is still here. And I would imagine they'd use that to fuel the fire. So the game... Jalen Hurts was named the starter, and I've been hearing things that he will be the starter for the remainder of the season. I honestly believe it's the it's the right move to make. I mean, I still believe Wentz could turn it around. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. Something ain't right. But we just got we got to do got to do what's best for the team right now. And so. We start the game, we get we force a quick three and out, and Jalen Hurts already goes to work. All he's picking up where he left off last week. He's moving the ball decently. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it that time, but the next time the next time the Eagles come with a blitz package that forces Taysom Hill to to miscommunicate with Alvin Kamara, causing Duke Riley to run up and catch that ball, giving us momentum, and then Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is moving down the field. That that pass to Jalen Rieger where he was wide open in the left. He had an easy open field. I honestly believe that Wentz would have thrown, he would have tried to force that downfield and wouldn't have saw Rieger. But, yeah, you could say. But Hurts is, he's taking what the defense has given him. He's keeping the ball when he needs to. He's getting the ball out of his hands quick. He's not panicking. He's got full confidence. And you saw this translate into a score. He threw a touchdown pass to Alshon fucking Jeffrey of all people. <laughs> Imagine that. So we're up seven nothing. And the next thing you know, toward the end of the toward the end of the first half, we're deep in our own territory. I'm like, okay, this would be huge for New Orleans if they could get a stop, but Thinking that they bit on the, they probably bit on the quarterback draw, leaving an insanely open field for Miles Sanders to run through and just come. He's off to the races. Bye bye. Ain't no catching him. And we're up seventeen nothing. It's like uh, I'm thinking to myself, what's the catch? Are they trying to get us to put our guard down? No need, because we do. At the end of the at the end of the first half, we're down in the red zone yet again. Two seconds left. We're, we're half the distance to the goal. I honestly would have tried to punch it in, and if it didn't work, it is what it is. It probably didn't matter too much what we did because we were getting the ball to start the half. But fucking hell, Elliot. Your, fuck, your job is to kick a fucking ball through the goddamn upright. God damn it. And guess what? Howie overpaid him, so we can't cut him that easily. So, and people were reaching out to me, getting way too excited, way too quickly, thinking they were going to win this game, and then the next four, I'm like, whoa, 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 pump the brakes there. Well, hold up a second. We still got an entire game left. And that, and that was my thought process. I'm like, I'm not, this game is not over yet. I knew in the back of my mind, 
I always, I never dismissed the idea that some bullshit was going to happen and that they were going to escape with the W. Uh, my mindset was like, yeah, just wait until the second half. The Saints are going to put this away. And they actually, we do nothing with the ball when we got it back and then New Orleans gets a touchdown. We go up midfield and we decide to go for it on fourth and one instead of punting, which allowed New Orleans an even easier opportunity to score again. Not to mention that out, that Darius Slay and Rodney McLeod were hurt, so it made it even easier. But eventually, the two teams jockeyed for position, and eventually the Eagles took momentum back with it, with some moves down the field, and Miles Sanders punched it in. In that situation, it was for, we had the ball back with eight minutes, I believe. They did exactly what they needed to do. They burned Precious Clock and got into the end zone and forced New Orleans into a very uncomfortable situation. I'm glad it turned out that way rather than the other way around. And I'm like, New Orleans was going to score no matter what. And when I said no matter what, I mean no matter what. Yes, they missed the field goal. But in our position, Jalen Hurts makes a rookie mistake and fumbles the ball in crunch time. I'm like, oh, no. Okay, this is where we're screwed. Okay, I thought... Yeah, the Eagles weren't, New Orleans was, was going to break our heart again. Just you watch. They get the touchdown, and then they go for the onside kick. And it looked like New Orleans got it, but somehow, miraculously, an Eagles player, Duke Riley, came away with it. People. It's almost like I'm dreaming right now. Do you know what just happened? Do you know what just happened? They beat New Orleans. Oh my god. They beat New Orleans. They beat the Saints. They beat New Orleans. They did it. They fucking beat New Orleans. They did it! They fucking beat New Orleans! Yeah! Oh my fucking god! I sure hope I didn't. I sure hope I didn't have a window down. Nope, I had a window up. Oh my fuck! Sorry, I kind of fanboy mode. Fanboy mode activated there, but it has happened. The Eagles have beaten New Orleans, but we're still not out of the woods yet. All all that aside. We still got to go into next game against Arizona. They knocked off the Giants. They helped us out big time, and unfortunately, Sam Fran couldn't cut the mustard against Washington. So, we still got our work cut out for us. But this is, this will be a great this is a great team win, and hopefully, it'll steer them in the right direction going forward. And if Washington if Washington and if we can't rely on these teams to beat Washington or the Giants, well. It's our own fault for for squandering opportunities earlier. But but like a wise man once said, let's just bask in the silence of victory. But that's something we because it's something we can enjoy. The Eagles have defeated New Orleans. Y'all have a good one.